what is going on guys this is god of war ragnarok part 10 where we're gonna do valhalla i have no idea what it entails uh yes what oh man okay i don't know what to expect Certain you remember nothing of this place. Oh, nothing that would help us. Tell me, brother, why exactly are we doing this? I do not know. Oh, that's comforting. This is not the armor I was wearing last. Look, I know you expect more from the smartest man alive, but. Odin always kept me in the dark about this place. Which is why I urged you to seek Freya's guidance. Repeatedly. She does not seem eager to speak with me. Well, quite the opposite, brother. But you tell yourself whatever you need to. I see a shore ahead. Black sand. Exactly as described in the invitation. We finally bloody made it. Got an invitation to a secret place. And no Freya or Atreus is with us. Wait a minute, what? Back to basics, then. What? What? What my stuff? Why? You know how long it took me to get all that oh, crap? That felt unsettling. Like we plunged into a dream. <laughs> why am I... Why am I without good stuff? I feel a little sad inside. Doesn't seem anyone's here to welcome us. Oh, Lord. What is this? Locked. I don't suppose you'll take that as our cue to turn around and leave? Reatha Sialfur, Sinum Hautum. To be one's own master. Master thyself. A more poetic way of putting it, but yes. This door takes effort. Valhalla may not appreciate our breaking in. Oh, man. What the? I am weak. I'm total weak sauce. Why? What? My shield will not open. Oh, this is bullcrap. At least I still have my abilities. Not the sort of foes I expected to encounter here. Curious. And... Seems it's the way of this place to offer you a choice. What? 
At least you're not going in completely hobbled. Why are they nerfing me so hard right now? <laughs> Kinda sucks. Oh lord, okay. Oh man. I don't like being weak sauce right now. Perhaps the last remaining pocket of Asgard. Something unreal about it though. At least this part seems peaceful. We should have a look around. You truly believe Freya would have aided us in this? Aided us? Talk sense into you? Win-win either way, really? I certainly can't see how there's any benefit to avoiding us. I am not avoiding her. Brother, you've gone to bloody Valhalla to avoid her. At least be honest with yourself. It is not her I'm avoiding. Not to interrupt, but... Whoa! I don't have a shield right now. Or do I? Nope, still don't have a shield. Woo! All I can do is dodge everything. Woo I don't like this. Is that the sweet glow of health I see? I don't have a shield, Lemire. <laughs> Why is this so stupid hard? Oh dear. What happens now, I wonder? Back outside. You marched into Valhalla without even talking to us first? Nice to see you too, milady. It was a personal matter. That would not take you from your duties. You breached Valhalla. Consider it worth my time. This entrance is secret. Who told you of this place? Nailed to our door three days ago. Kratos so of Sparta, you are hereby invited to a challenge. Face the past, face the future. Master Valhalla, master thyself. And then directions here, no signature. Who else knows of this entrance? Odin and us. It's likely a trap. You're thinking of going back in. Would you join me? Oh, don't let me intrude on your personal matter. Besides, I can't. Unlike the two of you, I've never died. What happens if I return inside? Well, that depends on you. Valhalla draws from the memories of those who enter. In there, you're an open book. Sure, you want to go back in. Hmm. How did you even get past the gate? I forced it open. With his bare hands. <sighs> he forced it open. There's an easier way if you insist on going back in. Come. Sigrun, maybe later we could continue with that one conversation then? For once, Mimir, I think you've said enough. Ah, right then. And the other matter we discussed? You're still... Thinking, I take it? I am. Um... Is that what this is? Guess I'll let you think, then.
So right, yeah. let's send you in properly prepared this time. First, Mahala requires you to perform the ritual of selection. Huh? Can I have my shield? That would be helpful. Yes. Please. Oh. I choose bold. Good. Now, let my sister speak to you of Valhalla's rules and its values. What? Uh. Play for. Enter Valhalla by this gate without suffering the penalty of breaching. Thank you, Sibra. Um, well, that was all weird. Any cursed feeling this time? No, all is well. Oh, Thank great. you, Shield Maidens. All right. Let's try this whole thing again. Can I have a shield now? There's a lot better already. Yay, I have my shield back. So I was supposed to die then. That's what I'm gathering from now. Well, that's kind of dim. What is this? Elden Ring? Okay. Mira, what is that odds between you and Sigrun? Did you anger her? I wouldn't say she's angry with me. Irritated, perhaps. Disappointed, certainly. Ah, but you needn't worry yourself, brother. I won't let it distract from... Whatever it is we're doing here. Yeah, my question now is what has been going on so since this Ragnarok? This is no piece of Asgard at all. Just something spun from your memory of it. Fascinating. <laughs> Brother, I must admit, Freya's idea does make quite a bit of sense to me. What better god of war could the realms ask for than the general who won Ragnarok? And won it trying to save lives. With you on board, our whole peacekeeping council could really do some good. This position, this title, I have held it before. You know what happened. She knows what happened. Of course we do. Why should who you used to be matter more than who you are now? Can't you see how far you've come? However far I have come, I have done it running from that life. That title, that throne. Aye. It seems as though I have to go this way. Hopefully this will be a lot easier now that I have a shield again. Oh, it is so much easier than the shield. On to the next door, I guess. I suppose this is about how you remember your name, eh? I do agree with you about Freya's counsel. It is a noble idea to succeed on her merits. How's that, brother? Freya is known to the realms and native to them, respected by all, an experienced leader. Experienced enough to know that a shared power is best for the people. That she would share power proves she is worthy to wield it. Even so, why make her wield it alone? Without Odin, the realms have a chance to forge a new peace. When conflicts do arise and can't be talked through, a god of war ensures those conflicts have rules and enforces them. They need might and judgment and credibility across the realms. Who else would she think, brother? I don't know. I'm waiting to see what the point of all this is. Okay. 
Graham knows I would not refuse to aid her when in need. I have done and will do my part to fight for peace, regardless of title, regardless of whether I sit in authority. You know as well as I do there's power in words. Oaths. The people need to know you're committed to them and to yourself. That you'll be there for them, and I know that you will. Mamir, and... let us talk later. I need to focus. Time to push along. Understood. <laughs> If there's an upside to this Valhalla madness, at least it's good to see you in action again. You're already more your cheery self than I've seen in moons. Without Atreus or a fight in front of you, I've wondered after your well-being. Combat can be... clarifying. And this must be how you remember Spartalfine. One thing though, brother. When you said Freya didn't value you the way you value her, that came surprisingly close to resembling the language of unrequited love. You know better. I do. An impossible pairing for any number of reasons. Just the same, it's obvious to any observer that you two care deeply about each other. Mm. She is an important ally and a dear friend. Disappointing her is difficult. What she asks of me, I... Makes you think she only finds you useful. I see. Well, I can't speak for her, of course. But if our adventures have taught me anything, it's that our connections are what matter most. So, forgive me for hoping you'll work it out. So who called me here? Why am I here? seek a way up and forward Valhalla's inner reaches I can feel it oh boy I can't wait to touch this back outside but we didn't you know sometimes you reach as far as you're ready to go Valhalla's decision or yours hmm. does this mean you're done in there no I will discover who invited me I believe I am close you're sure it's worth dying for oh I think we're fairly accustomed to dying at this point don't be glib Mimir Valhalla restores you after honorable death in combat but beyond that it makes its own rules, and if you don't play by them... Kratos, the threat of death in there is real. That is... good to know. If by good, you mean wildly disconcerting. I do wish you luck. Truly. Um... Wait. Now what? Start another attempt. Give me a fright. Nice. Okay. But now what? We gotta go back in and just fight stuff for no reason again? I guess we gotta fight fight our way to the end again. This is the thing at the end of the game that we saw of Kratos the Builder instead of the Destroyer. So 
that, right? The building? Stuff like that. Look, brother. The fog's lifted. Valhalla's becoming more open to you, perhaps. So much to see in the distance there. You can see how all the little realm spaces connect to the higher plane. And those statues are certainly imposing. I recognize them. They are judges of the underworld. From my homeland. Ah, well, you sound thrilled to see them again. Souls they deemed righteous were granted entrance to the Elysium Fields. Those deemed wicked were cast into Tartarus. Ah, yes, where the souls of the damned were tortured. Why has your mind manifested them here, I wonder? That's a great question. Ah, Midgard in memoriam. Ah, I'm starting to see there's no fixed order to the realms we'll visit here. Brother, mm. whose voice was that we heard when Valhalla sent us back from the throne? You heard it also. Aye. Said he owes you a debt, was it? Someone who might lend us a hand, perhaps? Unlikely. He was a god of Greece, and we did not part on good terms. And by that you mean... Yes, I see. No shortage of bitter old ghosts in these parts. These parts being your memory, of course. Brother, that throne we saw, did you recognize it? Was it familiar? It was mine. The throne I took from Ares. It is a throne of monsters. Ah, the anxiety of power made manifest. A symbol you're no doubt meant to consider. It is a symbol I reject. That might not quite close the book on matter. A symbol can't be slain, destroyed, or ignored. The best measure is often to reclaim it, redefine it. Remind us it's not the throne, but the god who sits in it. You just go with the same one every time? <clears throat> Congratulations, old friend. You really are going places in Valhalla. Where's Mimir? Is that really all you have to say to me? After all this time? Can't muster up so much as hello for one of your most auspicious victims? Hello, Helios. Where is Mimir? How should I know? Why don't we go look for him? Hmm? What the crap? I have no idea who this guy is. Because I never played the old games. <laughs> so, what's new with you, Kratos? Murdered any good pantheons lately? Devastated any populations with the cataclysmic consequences of your actions? Turned on any once trusted ally? You simply must bring me up to speed on your latest saga of blood-soaked vengeance. I am that no longer. You don't mean to say you've gone soft. Never believe it. Once a Spartan, always a Spartan. No, there's no fooling me, Kratos. You know what they say. You can't hide in the shadows from a sun god. At least, that's what they should say. Say, the decor is looking a little more familiar, isn't it? A mighty chain. Auspicious sign. You've always had such luck with chains. This is all gonna work out just great for you. I can feel it. Well. Oh, there it is. Home sweet home. Let's 
This is weird. Now this room must really take you back. Wasn't this the Chamber of Sacrifice? Where you let an Athenian soldier burn to a crisp just so you could get past the room? Oh, those madcap early days. How you must miss them. What are you doing, Kratos? You mean to sacrifice me? Again? towards my demise. What a special little personal touch. Really lets me know where I stand. Especially after such a long and agonized deliberation over what to do. Oh, how reluctant you'll tell people you were to sacrifice ah! the flame. <laughs> <laughs> Disappoint you, blithering idiot. But you do remember I'm a sun god, right? You think I'm afraid of a little fire? Don't threaten me with a good time, Kratos. Maybe I'll be infused with power and achieve my final form. Maybe I'll explode and take you with me. Let's just see what happens. Let's just see. What the crap is this? What is happening? Why do I have a giant sword? You know, I could give you a hint, but I just feel like you wouldn't appreciate it. Time for another push. Let's go. Uh. Okay, seriously, Kratos, get me out of this cage. It's not funny anymore. I can't believe you mean to roast me on a whim, on a presumption that it's what Valhalla wants from you. Have you ever considered that maybe your instincts are just random thoughts that pop into your head, no more likely to be true than the next? Hmm? Maybe consider that! Quickly! Well... You're really just going to incinerate me and see what happens? I swear, you haven't changed one solid Brother? What am I doing in here? I'm here. I'm here. What's that? Oh, this is bad. No! Get me out of here! Brother! What is this? Help me! I'm trying! Brother! Please! Do not panic. We will simply return to the gate. I don't think so. I think you've broken how Valhalla works. Oh. 
I think this is it, brother! No, you poor thing, look at you. You shouldn't have done that. Oh, heal, dummy. You and Kratos would not. But you're safe now. Secret, I'm sorry. I've been so foolish, I... Later, love. <laughs> I need a moment. As I will be forever in yours. <clears throat> My lady! Stop. You've seen me worse. I'm not sure about that, boss. Hush. It's nothing air can't be. This <coughs> could take some time. <laughs> well, Whoa. that was altogether bloody terrifying. One moment I'm in a forest, the next I'm in a cage full of fire. You changed into Helios and back again. It was unpredictable. I'll say. I'm truly not sure if we'd gone too far, or if we've come too far to stop. We are not stopping. I must face this. I know, brother. After all that, we're just gonna go right back in. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. A memory of Vanaheim now. Brother, I beg you not to remember the exploding plants. <laughs> what did you say about a forest? You remember being elsewhere when Helios took your place? Why? Yes, I didn't mention that while we were plummeting, but yes. I was in a forest, much like that of my youth. Back on my old body, too. This conversation will have to wait. Don't let me stop you. Why don't we talk about that image of you in the shrine we keep seeing? If Valhalla keeps pulling it out of your head, it must have some significance to you. Could it be that the idea of being loved and respected is a fair might better than the alternative? Now, hear me out. And it's not as though I'm a silence for a moment. <laughs> oh, I see now. We must keep the primordial realms up here on the top shelf. Getting back to that image of you on the shrine. I'll grant you ambition can be a poisonous motive, but your ambitions are only to help people, not for your own glory, right? Make the world a better, safer place. I think maybe that image of you is symbolic of your desire to walk a righteous path. Valhalla's little signpost. You are sure accepting Freya's offer is the right thing for me? Or for the realms? I think we are here to make sure about that. One way or the other. So Freya wants me to be the god of war for a new pantheon that they're making? <laughs> Interesting. Come on. Ah, we're up by those statues now. Judges, did you say? Perhaps the higher planes of Valhalla correspond to the deepest reaches of your memory. Hello, me again! If I must carry you, make yourself useful. Say what you see in battle. Ah, uh, getting a choice regarding your fate must be nice. 
<laughs> they locked you out. Guess we better poke around the old neighborhood. See what sorts of acquaintances are looking to reconnect. What in the world? Heading back to the cage, are we? I guess Valhalla is giving you a second chance. Well, now it's a party. What are you planning to do this time, Kratos? Wait, no, don't tell me. The suspense is honestly the only thing keeping me awake back here. Here's a radical thought for you. Maybe it only counts as a sacrifice if you give up someone you value. I think we all know Why it's not me. Psychos. Never guess their weak spot. See what brilliant move you've thought of. Um, Kratos? <laughs> Surely you're not supposed to. You know what? I'd like to see this. What the crap? Yours. I would have signed it, but it was important you come here for your own reasons. Then you're not an illusion. You're in the flesh, old friend. What do you want? I know what you're wrestling with, Spartan. I understand it better than you realize. The shame. The doubt. The question I could find no answer for until I came here. Lifetimes ago. Stepped through that door. What is in there? Oh. I'm not here to spoil that for you. Only to help you prepare. Why? Because I can. Because for us, fighting occupies the body while our minds work out the rest. Because you're not ready. Yet. I have to fight here? What? What? Why exactly are you attacking us? Consider it a kind of trial by combat, Namir. When Kratos can get the better of me, we'll know his mind has done the work. Oh, you suck. I let you out of a prison just for you to try and kill me. 
Come on. Oh, come oh, on. Where? The man at war with himself places a deficit upon his focus. He is impatient, emotional, easily surprised. A man at one with himself has a clearer mind, sharper instincts. That man is ready to win. That man is ready to progress. Come on! You're going down, dear. Well done, Kratos. I yield. I bet you do. Good then. Perhaps you are ready now. Am I? Honestly, nobody can truly say that but you. I don't get any rewards after all that. Whatever. I am not ready. Yet. But we will get you there. Competitiveness of this is terrible. Zegrun. How fares your journey? We have uncovered our host. It is Tyr. Tyr, you say? Aye. And no projection either. I never knew his connection to Valhalla was so strong. But then, he goes back further than I do. Fascinating. Tyr was the guy that invited me here. Kratos. Glad to see you're back inside. It seems Valhalla has arranged something special for you in the throne room. See you again soon. I don't really like hearing this. This is annoying. Although I do like seeing the stuff from Kratos' past. Pretty cool. I know this. You remember this, Kratos. The memory is vivid. A familiar scene to any that know your legend. A man at the crossroads of a fateful decision. Aye, you've spoken of this, brother. The pact you made with Ares, to stave off the barbarian war. The day I sold my soul to a god of war. Why show me this? Well, if I had to guess, probably to make you feel like the piece of you are. Is he necessary? He's no part of my design. He's either Valhalla's or yours. <laughs> At least he hasn't replaced me again. Not yet, anyway. Seems a real charmer. Good lord, man. Uh? A memory fragment of your time in Alfheim. Tell me, who was Kratos of Sparta? day you made your pledge to Ares. I was the youngest captain in the Spartan army. I had gained a reputation for my skills in combat, my command on the battlefield, but also my aggression. I was determined to never lose, and until then, never had. My men were loyal. Fiercely so. How many Spartans did you command? Not enough that day. How many barbarians did you face? Thousands. Dear, why help prepare me to take your old position? Why not fulfill it yourself? You seem capable. To the mortals of these realms, I am an ancient myth, long out of mind. The days I could hope to unify these realms uh, are long Sorry, out. friend. We're about to step into something here. Until next time. <laughs> 
Ah! I'm back! What a thrill! I must say, it's genuinely hard to think of anything stupider than pledging your soul to Ares of all people. I mean, any of Zeus's brood are bound to be garbage, and present company by no means excluded. But Ares made a real art of being vicious and depraved. Though, I suppose I can't begrudge you your role model. I see you still use the blades he gave you. Can you really say you regret a decision? And still keep benefiting from the trappings of that decision? I'm not sure, I'm just asking. You ever tried to do the math? On how many people died as a result of your little collaboration? Like contemplating the grains of sand on a beach, isn't it? Just overwhelming, honestly. What is that? Looks like someone left you a party favor. Oh, and it's a symbolic totem of your shame. That's so thoughtful. Now you've done it. You're being judged. And we all know your past actions wouldn't pass muster with anybody. What? Oh, I meant to ask. How did you like setting yourself on fire? Truly entertaining stuff. Sorry to miss how it ended up. I think maybe you still have some ash on your skin. Am I crazy? This again. A siren? Cover my ears! Kratos! What the... back Kratos again you gotta be kidding I brought something else to keep things interesting you're not the only one with weapons from far off lands you know ready uh, I don't want to do this again <laughs> Ambitious. Proud. I could not accept defeat. I crave power. Is that all? Are you sure? Nothing more to that story? Nothing else under the surface? <laughs> How many times am I gonna have to beat you, dear? I believe you found an understanding within yourself. Shall we see? Pools. It's not only memories. Indeed. For what is a memory apart from our perspective on it? You know the evils that came of your past. You know the evils within yourself. Yes, these you dwell on. But it's not that simple, is it? The Horde is vast, brother. What would have happened if you didn't stop it? Our lands would have been overrun. Our people killed, violated. People your army was sworn to protect. An army led by you. Did you not feel a duty to fulfill your purpose? Did you not fear for the safety of your homeland? You saved them. You would excuse my actions? Excusing them is not the exercise, Kratos. Only accepting them. Accepting that you acted based on what you knew then, not on what was to come. 
Your motivation and their consequences are far more complicated than you let yourself believe. Hmm. I think perhaps you have more to process. Yes. I have much to think about. I will return. And I oh. will be waiting. Man. Your friend, can you send the invitation in the first place? Yes. His voice echoes in the halls. There's no mistaking it. So it's Tears' game you're playing? This is all his idea? A game is not his purpose. There is something here I must see through. And what is that exactly? A process. <sighs> all right. If it's helping, I trust you both. We all do. As we trust in Valhalla. Even after what it did to you? I knew the rules and chose to break them. I regret nothing. Since we keep going back in, I take it this process is working for you somehow. Yes. Succeed or fail, I feel progress. Clarity. I need to see it through. Very good, brother. An infamous act. One they still spoke of in the years of rebuilding. I somehow doubted they meant it so little. I'll give you this, brother. Your technique has improved immeasurably. I needed his power to secure my vengeance against the gods. I believed I had no choice. No choice? You could have not ripped my head off my body. That was absolutely an option. And he's back. But that wasn't the worst of it, was it, Kratos? Killing me deprived Greece of the sun. They were plunged into perpetual cold and darkness. Crops ceased to grow. Famine descended on our homeland. Not that you cared. Enough. He is better, isn't he? Well, this is all very Kratos. interesting. I'm curious. Your decision to behead Helios, fueled by any personal motivations, was it really just a means to an end? It was not personal. I did know him long before I killed him. He was as insufferable as any god. But his death brought me no satisfaction. Did you know what would happen as a result? When Helios was captured by the god of dreams, the lands fell into darkness and were not restored until his return. I knew exactly what would happen. Kratos, I hope you'll forgive me for overhearing. Before you first found your way to me, you were grappling with the symbolism of your former seat of power. May I offer a perspective? You may. Before I became God of War, I felt as hesitant as you were. I feared that taking the throne would only validate Odin's power hierarchy, which even then I didn't trust. But I decided I could wield a better influence on the inside than on the outside. There are many ways to lead, and not all of them involve ruling. The throne and the office are only what you bring to them. Tyr, earlier you spoke to me as though I seek to lead. As if I was someone to be followed. Your self-criticisms, valid and otherwise, seem well reflected here in Valhalla. It's no accident that your mind manifested in time. It's more than a symbol. It's a challenge to revisit your assumptions. Mimir is right. Eight interrupted to... here, but we're pushing ahead now. Until next time.
whoa. This is weird. Kratos. And lest we forget Kratos, lest we neglect to place your deed in full and proper context, I saved your life. Me! And you literally tore off my head for my troubles. Imagine if all your new friends knew how you used to treat your old friends. Of course, you're not the same man, right? Now, you only get your friends killed through lack of foresight. Far easier to blame others that way, am I right? I know who you are, a projection of the mind. But for what it is worth, the death I gave you was unjust. Oh, how touching. Yeah, not actually worth the spittle it took to mumble that out. Do not do that again. Nobody wants to hear that from you. A little something to remember me by. I truly hope it brings you unrelenting torment. Just a little when they do that, doesn't it? Feels like judgment. A minotaur. Now we see how a man. <laughs> Who's charging at us? Untether yourself, man! I'm back. Welcome back, Kratos. <sighs> I have another cherished weapon from my travels to show you. Ready to see? Be ready! Good boy. Ah. We'll take that out real quick. <laughs> Tell me, Kratos. Truly. How did it feel to plunge your homeland into darkness? I did not intend the land to suffer, but I was indifferent, consumed only by rage and retribution. That is not what I asked. How did it feel, in that moment, your soul given over to darkness, bringing a darkness over everything you could see? Well, true. Arms up! I gotta be honest here, I don't really like you right now. I yield, I yield. Good then. I don't think you are indifferent, Kratos. I think you were hurt. Deeply hurt. And you handled it unskillfully. Wait, is that you restoring the sun? You took Helios' chariot and put the sun back in the sky, but sacrificed yourself in the process. Yes. I fell to my death and was saved by Helios. But... This memory happened before I killed him. My evils were yet to come. What is the point? That your legacy has always been a complicated one. That goodness is not a destination we arrive at, but a practice. 
Misfortune may drive anyone to darkness. We resist it only through wisdom and vigilance. You are not so unskillful now as you were then. Better voices in your head, you might call it. I think that's enough for now. You have much to contemplate. Yes. Back to the beach, then. You should be proud of your progress, Kratos. See you soon. Oh. 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 Seems like you're making progress, whatever you're doing in there. Perhaps. Listen, I... know I made you feel like we expected more of you than you could give. And I just want you to know, I'm not asking you to change how you are or who you are. We had to break the old world to build a new one. Picking up the pieces and putting them together stronger, it's a rare opportunity. You made a difference here. In some circles, a symbol of change. On many days, just knowing that you're a part of the Council is enough. And other days? You've earned a voice. How you use it is up to you. Sigrun, inside we encountered a son of Thor. It wouldn't really be him in there, I can assure you. You have a memory of a past fight, and I'm sure Valhalla takes advantage. But why him? I don't think that's for me to say. Well, something for us to ponder in between melees. A substitute daughter. A box full of evils. This one feels important. This is your blacksmith's story, isn't it? His girl was the key, and he died protecting her? Protecting her from me. I opened that box, seeing the means to kill Ares. And what I released... Pretty much turned all the gods crazy. Uh, thanks again for that. Quiet, Ed. Unfortunate. The time I spend in my own Valhalla means you get more time with him. Kratos, how well did you know the blacksmith's daughter? Pandora. She reminded me of my own daughter, who I lost long ago. I'm sorry, Kratos. Even at your most vengeful, you must not have wanted to see harm come to her. Pandora was innocent. The way she saw things, she could reach me when few could. She deserved better than to be a pawn, sacrificed in a game of gods. Your regret is palpable. But thank you for letting yourself remember. That is important. You're not done with me yet, Kratos. Unfortunately. All your righteous haranguing about how evil the gods are, I'll gloss over that little extra nudge you gave them. Opening the box was Athena's plan. I did not know the consequences. You would claim ignorance of the consequences of trusting Athena? Is that your idea of a joke, Kratos? Because I admit it's hilarious. 
But let's be real, Kratos. Whether you should have suspected the consequences or not, you certainly can't claim that you would have cared about them. You want the power to kill Ares. And because you wanted it, everything is justified. That's your moral code at the end of the day, isn't it? To imagine you once again holding an office of solemn metaphysical responsibility. A trusted figure. A worshipped figure. The absolute gall of you to let yourself consider such a thing. I guess irony will have you when it earns you something. <sighs> back here again oh how precious I don't think you can be trusted to keep that safe at all pretty sure he agrees with me Again, still not used to that. Welcome, Kratos. Honor me with another sparring match. I have one last weapon to show you. I think you'll enjoy it, if that's the word. One last. Okay. Oh, sweet goodness. Fight. Wait, what the? Well struck, Kratos. The box we saw you open in the scrying pool. What was inside, exactly? Fear, deceit, vanity, hatred. Amplifying what the gods already possess. But what else, Kratos? Okay, this is a little much bull crap. Left knight incoming. Uh. Stop, Kratos. I yield. Mm. Hard fought. <sighs> Let's see what your mind has worked out. When the evils of the box were purged, what remained was hope which you chose to release back to the world. Yes. After everything, you came back full circle to sacrificing yourself. My death would have been just, but it was not to be. Yes, you lived, and hope still lived inside you from that day to this one. One might say you brought hope back to these realms after a long slumber. Box or no box, Kratos. Hope and fear and love and hate exist in every one of us. The question is, which will you choose to let guide your actions? Each choice we make shapes our world. Mm. I see the truth of it. 
and I believe I am ready to walk through that door. Excellent. Okay then. Thanks for the lessons, Tear. Good lord. myself in service. I missed everything. Did you find what you needed? Hmm. Glad to hear it, brother. Well done here, then. So, uh, what now? No. I believe. 
like to sit here for a while. series on this part 10 <laughs> man this was a long I guess what would you call this project I don't know so what I'm gathering through this uh, last part here is that Freya asked Kratos to be the god of war for a new pantheon they're putting together for I guess these lands and Kratos was fighting within himself whether or not he wanted to do that because of his past and he overcame those fears and doubts so that's awesome with all that being said I hope you guys enjoyed the series and thank you guys so much for watching see you guys later Crap, we're not done yet. I hope Valhalla gave you everything Look you who's need. returning from the front gate, Kovacs. Something must have happened to me. I take it this is a good sign. Freya, I will join you. I will try to be what the people need. Good. I'm very pleased to hear that. And that you found what you needed here. I could not have done so without my friends. I am grateful. Valhalla is at your disposal, Kratos. If you have more you wish to work out, now or later, we will heed the call. Okay, now we're done. <laughs> Bye.